Hello friends and welcome back to Enjoy Beekeeping. We're going to harvest some honey today and we're going to winterize our colonies. So um, it's uh, early November, um, November 1st, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to inspect just to make sure that they have enough honey to last throughout the winter and also too if there's anything extra for us that we can surplus uh, us beekeepers. So let's check it out. Here's a colony that I've had for a couple years now and has really done well. Uh, in fact, I've done so well, I've, I've made several splits from this particular colony. Just good genetics, um, very robust. Uh, the queen was well mated and um, they're in a 14 frame standard lands. And I've got a hive beetle entrance trap at the front. Uh, but when we go in this hive, um, again, this is a colony that I made uh, several splits from. In fact, I probably split it just a couple, two, uh, one or two times too many. Um, I probably could have uh, split less. However, we're going to go in and we're going to see how much honey they've got out of the 14 frames that they're occupying in here. So let's begin. All right, so the entrance is here. We'll start over here. And this one has a little bit of a history. This was a very good, powerful colony. Uh, last time I was in here was on June 8th. We uh, confirmed that we had a mated queen, and so now it is November 1st, so it's been a while. And let's start from the quiet end, right here. One hive beetle to kill. On this end, uh, let's see. I do see honey over here. All right, so we're going to have to have our honey storage container. There we are. It doesn't take long for other bees to pick up the scent of that, so we're gonna blow a little smoke here. All right, bees. Let's just take away the surplus, if there's surplus. I think there is. Let's get over here. These will go in the extractor, hopefully. Uh, we gotta get one of these frames loose. They're in there tight. Let's get this one, hopefully. Uh -huh. Here it comes. Okay, there's that's harvestable honey. We can use this. Um, there's uh, not a lot, but there's probably uh, a half a pint on there. So we'll just add that to the carrier box. And I see lots more honey over here. All right. Again, about the same amount. That's, that's nice harvestable honey. Again, there, we're gonna put that in the box. That's what we like to see in all of them, but we don't always. There's a lot of honey in this one. Oh yeah, nice. Look at that, there's a nice frame of honey. Put that there. And that's what we're doing. We're just working our way towards the brood nest. Starting from the quieter end, and this is the nice thing about horizontal hives right here. What we're looking at is that all the surplus honey is down on the far end, away from the activity, away from the entrance, away from the brood chamber. That's all extra honey. You don't have to worry that you're taking too much. They made a lot of honey. Look at that, there's another frame. Again, probably a, a half pint there. And we just keep adding them into the, to the box. So we got one, two, three, four, five. This one has a little too. Let's see if we can get that one out of there. There it goes. Small amount there. That's all good honey. That's honey for the house. Now I see honey 
on what looks to be like a brood frame. So we want to just make sure that we've got brood. So we're going to keep moving down a little more as long as we got an active queen. What's on this frame here? Okay, there's a lot of honey banding at the top. This is where brood was. As you can see, this is where brood used to be. It's dark. And there's more where brood used to be. So I just want to slide this over a minute. We just got to make sure we do have brood. Let's look over here. I do see brood there. Hold on. Let's just make sure. Oh yeah. All right. I think we're good. I was a little nervous. There's brood hatching. And there's our queen. And she is laying eggs. So we're going to close it up right here. All right. That's all we need to know. We're going to take out all these extra frames. Uh, I guess I'll leave them. I could leave them this one, this one here. Let me look and see. I think I'll take this one in. That'll give me six right there. We'll spin those out. Okay, so let's kill beetles. And I'm gonna install the uh, in-between frame traps. And we're gonna install the follower, follower board as well. Let's bring that up. Follower board's gonna go in right here. Hopefully. And close it off right over here. All right, let's bring in our beetle trap. I got a little nervous at first. You know, I thought that maybe, maybe the colony was queenless. Uh, let's get this, to, but they weren't, they had a queen. We'll set this in here. That's for catching hive beetles. Gonna leave everything else as much in place as we can. And turn that back on. Okay, so we're just gonna close this back up. It did have a queen, it did have brood. At first I got a little nervous because there just wasn't that many bees. And they're getting a little bit angry at me, so I gotta smoke a little. there and then this one gotta make it so everything fits yeah we'll put it right there all right so that's where the follower board's going and we got more boards that help this follower board just stay put that's where we'll do it, like that. And now we have extra frames. We'll just leave them in here. That's for next year. What do we get, one extra frame? Looks that way, I got all the, so I got six frames of honey to harvest out, which is really good. That's, that's great. Now this is just a 14 frame hive. So. Now what we can do, is we can add the Swiffer wipes here, just to close it off on this end. Like I say, it keeps out beetles. Helps retain the heat. And we are still gonna put a cushion over this. You don't wanna sting me, go on. All right, that's ready to go. I just need a cushion right here. And I should make a note that I harvested some honey out of them this year. So let's, uh, let's brag about this one. This is Pauline. She's a pretty uh, robust queen. That's if it's still the original Pauline. So today is November 1st, 11-1-21, harvested 
six frames of honey. Saw queen. Saw queen and brood. Uh, they're in good shape. They are in really good shape. Uh, that's that's a low number of bees, but she's I think related to the uh, colony that I have out in the barn. And they get pretty small as far as their cluster size for the winter. All right, let's move on. So for those of you who have asked the question, do you uh, only need to go into a land's hive once or twice a year? The answer is yes. I've gone into this one a total of one, two, three times so far this year. So I'm over my limit. Today makes the fourth visit, but I just did a couple springtime inspections. And then uh, now we're just gonna take a look and see if they have uh, winter stores. The colony uh, appears to be doing fine, at least from the outside. So today we're going to go inside, and again we're going to start from this quiet end here, and have a look. All right. Again, we see the the beetles have shown up here, so we got to get rid of them right away. That's part of my winterizing project. It's just ridding the beetles or trying to squish them. You can see they're right there. Now I do see, uh, looks like we've got some honeycomb here. Let's just see how many frames are good. And again, we're gonna start from this far end from where the follower board is and then see if we can get some excess frames out of the way. Okay, so there's there's a great frame that's got empty comb. That's great for next year. That'll give them a head start. They don't have to build that. As long as wax moths don't eat it, we gotta keep it wax moth free. Again, we found another one just like it. Great start for next year. Now, what's this? A small amount of honey, only on one side. And now we got to cut this here. And there's just minuscule amounts of honey. Again on that, these could be left out for robbing because literally there's probably uh, a tablespoon of honey on those frames. This one, however, has more. I would say that one we could probably leave in here. Let me just see. I don't know if we've got harvestable honey. Call you back. Let's see. I don't know if we'll have harvestable honey. And do we? Well, there is a lot of honey they're storing on this one. Uh, but I don't see enough to take for the beekeeper. And I do see brood on that frame. I think what we'll do, this one here is really nothing to get too into as far as they don't, I don't think they've got harvestable honey. I saw the brood chamber just then. So I'm gonna put a beetle trap in here and let them have this honey. I'm gonna take these frames away. Okay. Follower, no, that's not the follower board. Okay, this is the follower board here. We're gonna set that in. Oh, can I get this little old beetle trap out of here? Okay, let's move that into place. Yeah, this uh, this colony's fine as far as how they look. I think they're they're going to be just fine for the winter. They just I don't see any full frames of honey. I saw a lot of uncapped honey, so I'm just going to go ahead and finish it up right here. 
This uh, this colony, I, okay, let's put it this way. I'm not totally shocked that we don't have a, a honey surplus because they kind of went through uh, a, brood, a, a couple of broodless cycles and I don't think they had the workforce to do it. Uh, looks good for winter. For winter. No extra honey. All right, so that's all. We don't want to leave these hives open. We want to close them up. Let's close them up. All right, let's move this comb that we don't want to lose over here along the fence. This is where I'm keeping all this extra comb for now. This is uh, this is going to be for next year, but I uh, I don't want to mess around extracting you know a teaspoon of honey out of each one so I'm just gonna set them out here and let the bees clean them off they'll clean the honey out then I can store them well I hope you enjoyed this episode of enjoy beekeeping if you'd like to learn more feel free to check out my other videos if you want to like and subscribe to the channel I've got content that I put out quite regularly and I really appreciate you taking the time to watch if you want to learn more I do have an online course uh, that you can check out. I've got links to that in the description below and we'll see you at the next video. Mm -hmm.